Hi guys, this is Mommy Loves Bags. I wanted to quickly show you this bag. I have sold her, but I wanted to make this video in case anybody was considering purchasing this beauty. So this is the twist in the MM size, and she's gorgeous. I love the hardware. I personally, <clears throat> excuse me, I am a silver hardware girl. So I saw this um, hardware and I do really like it. I am very surprised by this bag. It fits way more than I thought it would. And I think a lot of people talk about the reason is because of the bottom here. So if you look at the way it is shaped here in the bottom, something about this does help to provide more room. It does have a couple of pockets inside, which I'll show you. And so I think it also helps that it doesn't have any other compartments. Now I have since sold this, I have purchased a cocoa handle and I am very excited about that bag. I am still looking for a small bag that works for me. I tried the favorite MM and while I really did like that bag and you can excuse the artwork on the background that my daughter did, thank God that is washable so just ignore that. But I did try the favorite MM and I did really like the bag. It was very pliable. I wish I would have done a video, but there are tons of videos out there on that one. Um, and I then decided to try the twist. I sold the favorite. That sold really fast. My twist also sold very fast. Now, I will say that I might come back to this bag because I do think that for its size, it is pretty roomy. Um, now, I like that you can wear this bag doubled up. I love the sound of the chains, okay? I'm, I am totally into that. So I will say that is something that I do love as well. I like that it has this beautiful leather to put on your shoulder. So um, it's very, very comfortable, okay? And then you can also, of course, just have one long chain and wear it over your shoulder. Depending on your body type, I am busty and curvy, so this did not work for me as a crossbody but it could work for a crossbody for you. So of course you know that the reason it's got it it has its name. Let's open it up and I'll show you what fits. Is if you just turn this, it turns into the V from LV to V and I do love that mechanism. It opens up and here is what I have inside of her. Now you will see in the very front there is a pocket and then in the very back I got a good deal on this. It did not come with a mirror but a mirror does normally sit here in this back, back pocket, which I think is a great feature. Now, given that I don't have everything in here, you'll see that you still have plenty of room for more items to fit. So I'm using my phone to um, film, but I did want to show you, this is my husband's old phone. This is a Galaxy, and so you can see that if you had a big phone, if I have a um, Max XS, and so that's comparable to a 7 Plus or 8 Plus, and that fits in here no problem. So I had that this away, and it fit just fine. It still closed very well. And there's still, again, like I said, look at all the room there on top. You have a lot of real estate here on the top part where you could put bits and bobs at the bottom, you know, throw in some lipsticks. Um, you could put in, you know, small items on the bottom and then throw your glasses on the top. So phone. Now I do have a long wallet that I love. If you looked at my last video, you'll see that I did get the Louis Vuitton Emily wallet, um, with the Pivone interior. And I wouldn't, you could fit that in here, but of course it would take up a lot of real estate. So instead I used my, uh, Louis Vuitton Empreinte pouch as a wallet, which I've done many times. I love that as a small wallet. And then you still have plenty of room here. So here are, here's my six ring key holder and the Damier Bean Rose Ballerine. I got this item recently and showed it in the last video and I love it. I used to have a monogram with the Rose Ballerine, but I don't know about you, but I love pink and brown together. I just think it's gorgeous. So those three items. I have my pouch, which has kind of my essential oils, and it just acts as a, um, 
what do you call it? A uh, junk drawer. I have a pin in there. I have some contact solution. I have some wet wipes uh, samples. So that fits in there, no problem. Let's see what else. And then down at the bottom are my sunglasses. <clears throat> and if you've watched my five essentials, these were my five essential items that I need to pack in any bag. My keys, my wallet, my phone, my sunnies, and my um, junk drawer, my pouch that I carry junk in. Just, you know, different items that I don't want, you know, thrown in the bag. But even with my five essentials, there's still plenty of room in this bag for more. And it's deceptive. It really is because I would not have guessed that it would have held more than my, I was surprised it held my five essentials. So I hope this has helped you to get an idea of what can fit in this beauty, that even though she looks very small, she packs a punch. So I'm sure the buyer is going to be very happy to have her. She is absolutely stunning. You could have this back pocket, instead of having a wallet, you could use this back pocket um, for your cards and stuff. I've heard many people doing that and that would save you additional room. Now, if you did decide to use this front pouch, which I did not, as you could see, but it would kind of take up real estate um, in the bag and you could probably find a better use. So like I will show you that my six ring key holder fits in that pocket perfectly. So that gives you an idea of its size. But again, you see how it bulges out, takes up room, probably better if you were to, um, you know, do that, uh, uh, just put it in the bag itself. So I hope this was helpful to you. I do highly recommend this bag. Let me show you the bottom. It does not have any feet, but like I showed you earlier, it has this kind of weird configuration down here that helps inside the bag to allow for more room. I think I will be coming back to her. I just want to try other small bags because I am a big bag girl, but I'm looking for that, I don't know how to explain it, like smaller classic bag that will fit my lifestyle and still fit what I need. So I am trying the cocoa handle. I am excited about it. I don't know that that will work after doing more research. It might be smaller than this. I'm not sure because um, I am getting the 28 centimeter, which I believe is the small. It comes in a uh, three sizes. Uh, the mini, I don't remember the second size was it's called, and the small is the third size, and then there's a medium. And I did want the medium, but couldn't find that for what I'm willing to pay. And because um, right now there's a lot of uh, uh, people on holiday, that's very hard to find. I hope this has helped you and maybe you'll consider this bag. If you have any questions, let me know. Remember, Instagram is the best way to contact me at mommy underscore loves bags uh, is my handle over on Instagram. So thank you so much. Please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I appreciate those of you who have. Bye.